Baby Octopus in a Bottle by Andrea Kazmarek The baby fish swim to and fro and all around, swimming and chasing with their games, shark chase and watch out for floating stuff. Turtle tells them all the time, look up, you never know what's coming down. The fish all swim around the big rock in the sea garden. Turtle doesn't swim, he sits on top of starfish and doesn't even notice. Octopus is busy with those wriggling baby octopuses. Just keep out of trouble, she says it all the time, waving all her arms. But baby octopuses are nosy, which isn't always good. Another funny thing floats down. It's pretty, what is it? Baby octopus takes a closer look. It's a bottle with lots of yellow lemons all over it. It looks like the baby lemon fish. Perhaps it's a new game. Baby octopus takes a closer look. Now, the silliest words anybody, fish or octopus, can ever say are, I wonder what's inside. But it is too late. Baby octopus swims in. Nothing in here. Baby octopus turns around to swim back out. But swimming in is a lot easier than swimming out. Her tentacles, all eight, are getting in the way. Help! Baby octopus waves at the baby lemon fish outside looking in. But a baby octopus in a bottle is hard to hear, so they just wriggle their tails. Jellyfish does the same. I'll make myself thin. Baby octopus tries, but thin and long only works when there is plenty of water all around. The baby lemon fish are all watching. Baby octopus is waving or making herself thin, and all the time the yellow bottle is rolling and rolling around. Oh, the baby lemon fish flap their fins. Is it a new game? Baby octopus is fed up saying, I can't get out. All the fish, jellyfish and other baby octopuses are watching and laughing. An octopus rolling around in a bottle is funny until Mama Octopus arrives. I told you not to get into trouble. Mama Octopus picks up the bottle with her tentacles and gives it a great shake. Ouch! Baby octopus yells so loud that everybody hears it. What swims in must swim out. Turtle always knows best. But Mama Lemonfish shakes her fins. It's like those nasty bags. We'll have to snip it to help little octopus get out. Where are the crabs when you need them? Mama Octopus looks around and puts the bottle down. Baby Octopus is very, very happy about that. Mama Octopus is a hard shaker. Starfish wakes up, a bit flatter, because Turtle is heavy. Shells. Starfish doesn't ever say much at all, so they all look at her. Shells are sharp and can cut, you know. Mama Octopus waves her tentacles, and those crabs are never around when you need them. We'll try a sharp shell to open it up enough for Baby Octopus to swim out. Get back down to the other end, she yells at Baby Octopus. Baby Octopus does just that. Mama Octopus finds a sharp, pointy shell. Turtle holds the bottle and they begin to cut and cut. They make the bottle opening a bit bigger. It takes a long time. All the fish are watching. Bit by bit by bit, the sharp shell does the job and Baby Octopus makes herself very skinny thin and swims out. Then the crabs turn up and ask what's going on. Jellyfish tells them their crabby pinches are needed, but they've missed the show. That's another danger we just don't need in our sea garden. Mama Lemonfish calls all the baby lemonfish together, and Mama Octopus calls all the little octopuses too. Just watch out for sharks, floating plastic bags, and rolling bottles. The lemonfish babies always listen to Mama Lemonfish, and today she is very sour yet again. There are too many nasty things floating down and making problems in the sea garden. Baby octopus was lucky this time. The end. Thank you for reading with storyberries.com. Free stories for kids.